How's everyone doing? It's me, the fly guy, Scott Bowerman, Daiichi Pro Tire, and I'm going to throw together a very, very simple um, muddler zonker combo called a zudler. It's got deer hair, it's got rabbit, a little bit of flash, and I am going to use this actual pattern here as an emerald shiner imitation and I'm going to get this one out of the vise and we will get started. First thing you need for your foundation is a good solid hook so I'm going to use the Daiichi 1750 in a size 6. Right there it says catch more fish and that's what it's all about. So we'll get one of these hooks. Come on I should have had one out. get that in our vise. We want our hook shank to be as close to parallel as possible to our working surface. I'm going to use two different kinds of threads. The first one is an olive 3 aught waxed mono cord by Danville's. And I'm going to start about a quarter of an inch behind the hook eye. And I'm going to wrap a thread base. since I didn't have it all the way set. There we go. Now this fly I'm tying now is an olive and you can tie them in black, yellow, white, any color you want. You can see the thread base is just on the shank and we stop between the point and the barb. You don't want your body going around the bend. So we're going to bring our thread right back up. And this is a diamond braid in emerald green I got from the Hobby Lobby and it was on clearance so I'm gonna have to try to locate some more so anyways this is just a flat braid in emerald green that I'm gonna use for the body I'll start it right up here wrap right down the hook shank bring our thread forward I'm going to tie a half hitch. I'll put my bobbin in the cradle. And before I wrap this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive down, a little Loctite brush on super glue. Just a dab down one side and right back down the other. And what that does is, you know, them fish, they've got some pretty mean teeth. And uh, come on, get back out of there. Well, we'll do that in a second. And when they bite, they'll have a tendency to want to drag. And this is just going to increase the longevity of our body. So I'm going to wrap this with each wrap right next to the previous wrap. All the way up. There's our emerald green body. Now we'll tie this off. Cut the excess. What I have, because I've been tying these, is two pieces of copper crystal flash and two pieces of green crystal flash. Let me square up my ends. I'm going to set that right on top. Do a pinch wrap. Secure it. Now I'm going to go about an inch past the bend of the hook and cut. And I'll put these extras back in my hackle pliers. Whoops. Set them aside. And now I'm going to get a piece of olive rabbit strip. And what I do you can see the end is square. I cut a taper on it. Bring it to a point. 
Now I'll lay that right on the top. And secure it with our working thread. And I'll just throw a quick whip finish on this because we are done with our olive thread. to and not cut this flash separate the fur and I am going to push my scissors through the fur and cut just the rabbit you can see my scissors are at the bend of the hook there we go and I'm going to strip some fur from this Cut a point and get ready for my next fly when this one's complete. So we can stroke that down and you can see that that rabbit is going to move and swim with just a subtle amount of flash from those four pieces of crystal flash we put in. Now we're going to use a gel spun, a 100 denier Vivas. And that's what we're going to do our deer hair with. We're going to start that right behind the hook eye. Bring it right back to our body or where our rabbit started. Now we've got olive primo strip. Well, what's left of one. And a hair stacker. Now, there's all sizes of hair stackers. This one's a magnum. When I'm tying streamers, I use a magnum. When I'm tying smaller flies, I use a standard. If I'm tying a, a caddis, a dry fly caddis, elk hair, I'll use a little bit smaller one yet. But what we do is we get a clump of this deer hair. You hear people say about the size of a pencil, but when they're saying the size of a pencil, that size of the pencil is down by the, the hide. So we got, that's down here is where the size of the pencil was, not up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get the, some people will comb it. This one is pretty clean. There's not a lot of fuzz or under fur in there. You can see the tips aren't very lined up. We're going to put that right in our hair stacker. Tap it a few times. And line up our tips. You can see they're all lined up now. Take it out. And all we need is about a half an inch for this part. So we're going to switch hands. And then we need about a quarter of an inch right here. And the rest of it we're going to discard. Just like that we're going to set it right on top of the hook and we're going to go over and over again and cinch down this is stacking this isn't spinning we're just stacking our deer hair and we're going to repeat that step we're going to get another clump about the size of a pencil Get that fuzz out of there. If you don't get the fuzz out of there, it doesn't. It does not want to spin or stack for you. We're going to put it right back in our stacker. Tap it a few times. Take it out. We only want about a half an inch there. About a quarter of an inch there. Cut the excess. Now I'm going to turn my vise over and I'm going to set that clump right on the bottom and I'm going to stay in my same thread track and I'm going to go over and over again, cinch down. You can see how it flared. Now we're going to turn it back over. I'm going to kind of 
push back with my fingernails what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap right through them stubby ends just a couple wraps pull back with my fingers a little bit wrap in front just a couple of wraps and I'm going to take my hair packer this is an old school one I'm going to take two fingers put it behind the hair push one of those holes over the eye of the hook and push it back as hard as I can without pushing my fingers out of the way now we'll do a couple more wraps okay now that was hair stacking and we've got a little bit of the thread of the hook left up here and what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little bit more deer hair not quite the size of a pencil because we don't have a whole lot of hook left and I'm going to get the fuzz out of there and I'm going to not stack this piece because we're not going to use the tips and I'm going to hold on to about a half inch there and I'm going to discard all but a half inch here and I'm going to do a pinch wrap hold it down do another pinch wrap and as I pull down I'm going to start wrapping my thread around it and you could see that that hair wrapped as I drew it down and started wrapping so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hair packer again put it over the eye put our fingers behind it and push Now I'm going to wrap a few wraps of thread and I'm going to do a double half hitch, a second double half hitch, and a third double half hitch. And now I'm going to, I had a razor blade here handy and I misplaced it so let me get a new razor blade. These are just dollar store double edge razor blades. I'm going to cut my thread. Swing my trash around here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over and on the bottom I'm going to cut straight. Just lift up from the hook a little ways and be gentle because this stuff cuts very fast. And I'm going to cut backwards until I get to those soft deer hair tips. You see those tips on the bottom? Back, back there. And now I'm going to bend the razor blade. Put it right up and push it on an angle. And that's sculpting the head of our minnow. Just kind of cutting those edges a little bit. And there you have a deer hair zuddler in green for an emerald shiner and I hope that you can tie some of these for yourself and again you can go out and you can tie them in different colors to be able to uh, imitate different minnow patterns and that will swim like crazy so enjoy good luck tight lines be safe I'm Scott Bowerman the fly guy Daiichi Pro Tire be safe and have a great day. Thank you for watching.